of the Golden Plain Shire. I'd like to address some significant community concerns about the 2018 rate notices that have been recently sent out. I'd like to assure that Council does care and we are listening. I'd like to answer some of the more common questions we are receiving in the hopes that I can clear up some misunderstandings. I can confidently confirm that Council has met the State Government rate cap. The average Golden Plain Shire property rate increase is 2.25%. Some may be more, some may be less, but we are certainly meeting the cap. We are also hearing that residents feel they don't get enough value for their rates. It's important to note that rates are a property-based tax rather than a direct user charge for services received. Rates are legally required to be paid by all property owners in Victoria. Local government has a responsibility to provide access to service and infrastructure for the public benefit of all of our ratepayers and, our, and this is our main aim at Golden Plain Shire. There are a lot of services that you may not use personally, but that many other residents around our Shire have access to, such as aged care, kindergartens, community group support, recreation facilities or community health and wellbeing programs. We also work hard year round on maintaining a large road and street infrastructure, including roads, bridges, footpaths, drainage, street beautification and asset management. We also work hard to advocate and lobby for increased services and state and federal government spend in our Shire. We do this because unlike other councils, we have limited opportunities to generate income apart from rates. We don't have significant amounts of revenue from big industry, commercial development or user fees like parking. We work so hard to meet the community's expectations, but we also need to ensure we get more support from state and federal government to help us do that. People who, who have moved here from large regional centres like Geelong and Ballarat may have experienced lower rates there. This is because bigger towns have a lot of existing infrastructure and many more income sources to help fund services and improvements. The garbage charge has increased this year. We've been working to inform the community about this change since the draft budget was developed. The increase is mostly due to China's new policies severely restricting the import importation of recyclables, which has been well documented in the state and national news. And finally, we're hearing that people don't feel their rates reflect their house and land value. There's been strong market growth in the last two years, resulting in an average increase across all property types in the Shire of 9.35%. Some areas and townships have experienced increases higher than this average, while some areas have been lower. While improved property values are generally good news for owners, Council understands that the impact of rate increases can cause concern. If you believe your valuation is incorrect, you must lodge an objection with Council within two months of the issuing of the rates notice. The grounds for objecting to the valuation can be found on Council's website. I can empathise with those who are disappointed to see the change on their rates notice and I assure you that Council takes your concerns seriously. I'd like to remind ratepayers that you can arrange to make more regular, ongoing payments towards your rates than the four instalments. Call our Rates and Valuations team to find out more. I promise you, Council is listening and we do care. Thank you.